It's WPGC 95.5, home of the Joe Claire morning show. It's your man DJ Flex, home team on your radio. I talked about it, and uh, it's true. Swiss Beats is in the building. Showtime, showtime. Man, this is an important interview right yeah. here, brother, because, man, you are you <laughs> just an uh, incredible oh, man. icon. Thank you. Thank and you. to have you in front of me right now, man, and I actually think this is the first time I've ever interviewed you. Yeah, that's crazy. I've met you in passing. Many bunch times, of times. A bunch of times. But this is the first time we can sit down and chop it up. Yeah. Um, first, let's get right to it, man. Let's talk about Poison. Yeah. Oh, man, Poison. It's my first album in 11 years. Yeah. I feel like I'm just beginning again. You know, after everything I did already, that was like my warm-ups. Now, people are going to really see what time it is. You know, um, and the reason why I named it Poison is because in life, we got to face our poisons. Yeah. In order to poison on. Right, 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 right. And so, you know, I just wanted to give people quality music and bring um, just a couple of things back to the game that was missing. You know? What was missing? Because that was one of my questions yeah. I'm going to get to. Yeah. And, and, you know, and, and I mean, I, just real lyricism. Yes. You know, and, and, and forcing or challenging the, um, the artist to think outside of their comfort zone. Yeah. You know, I didn't put... The way that people made this album was performing the best that you know them or better. Yeah. Right? If they wasn't doing that, they, they're not on the record. Swiss Beats, yeah. my yeah. special guest right here on WPGC 95.5. Man, you've done a lot. You say this is the first album in 11 years, but during those 11 years, oh, yeah, you yeah. have done a <laughs> lot. Yeah, we was busy. Yeah, very busy, very busy. <laughs> yeah. First of all, let's, can you talk to, a little bit to me about Harvard? Oh, man. um, You know, I was... uh inspired to go back to school because outside of music, I was um, working on a lot of biz business deals, a lot of mergers, acquisitions, <clears throat> and I would go in these rooms as Kasim, not Swiss Beats, but they would still treat me like I'm Swiss Beats and make it about music when we in there talking about business, and, I, and I, I was getting offended by that. Yeah. Right? But then instead of being offended and using that as an excuse to slow down, I was like, they're doing that because I don't know the language, right? So mm -hmm. they're only speaking to me about the language that they feel I know so I'm comfortable, right? So they're not even doing it for a disrespect reason. They were doing it just because they know I didn't know what the IPO was or all these different things here. And so I just wanted to go back and sharpen up my pencil, and I think it was the best investment that I ever made um, to my life was to educate myself more. A lot of artists today are so hooked on music. Mm -hmm but don't really understand business. Yeah. So is that your, miss, is your, that's your mission that kind of helped yeah. bring them along? Yeah, because we always missing the business part, and, and which is the reason why the creatives are always less um, wealthy than the people that's running the businesses because they're handling the business, right? Um, so it's the music business, fashion business, movie business, you know, art business. There's business attached to all of those different things. And you put your life and your time and your energy and sacrifice everything for it and don't handle the business, that's, that don't make no sense. Swiss yeah. Beast, my special guest right here on WPGC 95.5. Poison's Tone. coming out November Tone. 2nd. Yep. Okay. So you got to make sure you get that. Yeah. And uh, now you're such a veteran in the game, but now yeah. we're talking about business. Yeah. We're talking about music. Yeah. But now do you see yourself kind of getting swept up into Politics. No. No, I don't really, you know, for me, I don't really play the politics hard like that um, because I feel that us as the people, we our own government, you know, and technically we got to handle our own politics, um, but not in a political way, meaning not in a regular political way. Like for me, it's like if you want something done or fixed, I think that we should form up and do it ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's never been, I haven't lived to see. Um, any politics or anything like that really change any communities that I know mm. right off the bat. You know, not saying that nobody has done anything. It just hasn't reached to where I can physically see, like, wow, this person got an office and the, the, the whole hood changed and people are now doing this and that's now doing that. I haven't really seen that, right? So um, I, just, I just stay away from it. How, how is it for you? And I hope I'm not any way disrespectful with this question I'm asking yeah. right now. Wifey, Alicia Keys. Yeah, yeah. She's going to be here on Thursday. Oh, yeah? Doing an event 
um, to be moving stop around. stop the Supreme Court nomination. See now she's different. Okay, <laughs> okay. You know, so that's why I asked you how you she, felt she, about that. She's heavy on the politics, but she's also educated in that yes. space. Yes. Right. So for me, I'm not really edu- educated um, in that in that in that space like she is. Like she's way better than me in that space, and she's she's fighting for all type of things, and I support whatever she support, but I can't say that, you know, my passion is in the same space. Got it. Swiss Beats, my special guest right here on WPGC 95.5. Yeah. Um, Kanye West. <laughs> Kanye West. He is mm-hmm. all over the place right now with uh, yeah. in the news. Mm-hmm. And how do you feel about Kanye? Should we come together to help Kanye or mm-hmm. what you think? Or should we just let him do him and you make your own decision? I think, I think, um, He's his own person. Yeah. He's responsible for his own actions. Got it. Right? You know, that that is my brother for, for many years. And um, I support all the positive things he's doing, but I don't support the negative things um, that he might do, just like anybody. No right? doubt. I, I support people's positive positivity and not support negativity or whatever that is. But um, that's still my brother. You know what I'm saying? All right. So... You've been doing this for a lot of years, right? So how do you feel, man, when you see the younger generation mm-hmm. uh, loving your older material, your the first stuff? <laughs> now it feels good. You know, it feels good to, to connect to the younger generation and more so to see them finding the discovery because, like, a lot of people thought I started, um, like, with T.I. Swing Your Rag or something when I already been put a lot on the board before that, before those records. But to see them discovering like my older records, um, due to the battles and different things like that, and the conversation that comes like, man, like you did this, you did that, it puts it puts everything in perspective. Yeah, you know, and if I'm not over those old those older tracks, they still rock the club. Yeah, I'm you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's something about me because I'm a DJ too. So when I drop that record and the whole crowd says. Ooh, yeah. You know what I mean? That's it's nothing. There's no feeling like that. Got that party up on them. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Swiss beats, my special guest, right here on WPGC ninety five point five. At the end of the day, what do you want your legacy to be? Um, at the end of the day, I want my legacy to be something that um, can keep giving back. You know, whether it's from an art standpoint, an educational standpoint, a music standpoint, a father standpoint. You know. A ringtone standpoint, <laughs> you know, I want I want my legacy to be everybody's ringtone, yeah. right? Um, you know, all those things. No doubt, no yeah. doubt. I appreciate you spending some time with me right now, yeah. and please go ahead and plug that project again. Yeah, listen, I know y'all got a lot of music out there, but when y'all get this poison, this is something that you can't run from. A lot of that stuff, y'all just chew it up and spit it out. This is this is this is classic content, authentic content quality content, and when you finish playing around, you're going to come right back to it. So I want to give you something that you're going to actually um, put in your pocket and take with you everywhere. November 2nd, we're going to get that poison so we can poise on because we poise sons. Zone. November 2nd. Ladies and gentlemen, Swiss Beats, right here on WPGC 95.5.